Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If today is your very first time seeing my face, my name is Sarah and I talk everything about immigration moving to Canada through studies. I'm also a nursing student so I try to chip some of that in there as well. And my regular subscribers, you know how we do it. I love you guys and I do appreciate you guys so much for joining me every single video. Alright, so let's get into today's video. Before I get into today's video, please don't forget to access the free PDF of how to start your journey into immigrating into Canada as an international student or studying in Canada if you absolutely want to study in this very awesome country. Please access the free PDF that I have in the uh, description box. Alright, so today's video I will be talking about ways to immigrate into Canada. There are so many ways you can immigrate to Canada and these are a few ways that I feel like on my research is most common. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is express entry. Express entry is basically when someone wants to immigrate into Canada because they have the vision of working and adding their value to the economy in Canada. That's essentially the idea of express entry. And so applicants are selected on so many reasons. The few reasons are I'm reading all the books, so excuse me if I look down. So your age, education, English proficiency and work experience. So basically, as I mentioned earlier, you are coming to Canada because you believe that you have this skill or you have this potential of adding your value to Canada. So when they are looking for applicants or like when they are selecting people, they select people based on age, your work experience, your English proficiency letter, like your English proficiency that could mean that if you took your IELTS or yeah any other English you know you know verification and your education your level of education whether you are well educated or whether like you have a specific credential that is useful for a certain organization in Canada. The second thing I'm going to talk about is the provincial nomination program. So basically what happens is every province chooses a number of people based on so many factors and it is very different from every province. As you all know in Canada we have different provinces and these provinces have their own rules when it comes to the provincial nominee program and so if you want more information about the province that you are living in and how you can get nominated for this program and essentially become a citizen or a permanent resident. You should probably look at the website that I put in the description bar to learn more about the province and how it works. But that's how it is. They look at your credibility and what you've done for the province, probably your work experience, volunteering and all that stuff whilst you have lived in Canada, what you have been doing to help. And they look at all these factors and lucky people or worthy people or privileged people I don't know how to say it but like people get selected based on that to you know get their PRs. The next thing I'll be talking about is study permit. So basically what happens with study permit is that you just apply for a study permit to come to Canada. So you come here, you study, you acquire knowledge and then you move from there. You kind of build a relationship with um, your workplace, like the environment, you get to know how the system works and then essentially you would be able to apply for a PR based on so many factors. Um, you might qualify or not qualify but then yeah that's also a route that people choose a lot hi guys so i'm sorry I
technical difficulties so i would be quick with this one so the next thing i'm going to talk about is working in canada i'm not so sure if they still do it but i know they used to do it where they pick up employees um, or people from other countries and employ them into the organizations here and then they help them to apply for a work permit and so you can also do that and the last thing i'm going to talk about is is the startup visa program so it's a program where they look for entrepreneurs or people that have the potential of starting a business and they feel like the business would thrive so they do that so that you can come into the country start up that business and then make it thrive so they support you the organization will support you and give you that permit to be in Canada whilst you grow your business and so that is how much I know about it. These are the few ways you can immigrate into Canada and um, I hope this was very helpful and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions that you would like me to answer. I will do my best to answer them. If not to, I will refer you to something or someone that can help you. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video till the end and I'm super sorry for the technical difficulty. You guys might see it but then it was stressful so i had to speed up the video i'm sorry but then yeah i need to get this video done all right i'll see you guys in my next video have a lovely day bye